Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Mankind. Woman plays victim and gets called out for shaming hardworking men. Please ask them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. Let's jump. Imagine being labeled a dog of a person just for going to work in the morning. You're videoing people who are going to work and you're probably taking the shameful 5 a.m. ride back home, lady. These lads aren't even acknowledging your pitiful existence. Go clean something. Right? Guys, is, is it essay to go to work in the morning? I mean, pretty close these days. Just being there. Just our presence is essay now, guys. It's just our presence. There's just trying to get to goddamn work. Leave hardworking men the fuck alone, clown. Believe it or not, you're in the safest bloody place you could imagine. If just yeah. one of these so-called predators tried something, you'd have a tsunami of masculinity rushing to rescue you. Yeah, but the True. sad part is, if these women keep up with this modern attitude of, you know, I choose bear over man, painting men as villains, the truth is men, men won't be so quick to rush in anymore. You'd be way safer surrounded by 64 bears, I pray for you. <laughs> Feminists trying not to play victim card challenge, impossible. And nothing happened. What a surprise. Why is it a survival game? Ain't nobody want you. <laughs> Average victim searching for attention. That's about right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, because the blue collar workers in bright, high visibility jackets are obviously there to intimidate you at five in the morning. That's their favorite pastime. It's a survival game out here. It proceeds to film every single person minding their own business, not a care in the world. Right. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. These guys probably got lots on their mind. It's just not her. It's, you know, providing for a fucking family, shit like that. They're probably thinking of their fucking job they're about to do. It's probably going to be strenuous shit. Posting something like this is pretty fucking disgusting. But on the bright side, it seems like the comments were universally against her. La, 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 la. Yeah, so it says, don't mind me. I'm going on my midday defrost walk because corporate offices are set to unreasonable man temperatures. La, 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 la. Bitching about AC. Girl huh? power. You are so fucking brave. You are so fucking brave for going outside because the air conditioning in the office you work in is, is uncomfortable to you. Uh, as a man who has worked outside his entire life, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I have no idea what that's like. I freeze my dick off in January and I melt my dick off in August, but uh, you are so brave. Either way, his dick is coming off. You are so brave. <laughs> you are so brave, girl. You're so brave. I take that statement back already. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Don't fail, brother. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. man. They're on their break, you fucking horse. Let them fucking enjoy their break. Fucking people work constantly. So you see him doing some jump ropes. He's actually exercising, is he not? Like, come on, people. Yes! That's awesome! I think that was pretty fucking awesome, man. But of course, there's someone complaining about it. On, on the bright side, again, it seemed like the comments were universally against this post. Bro, they've been working all day. Let them jump rope on company time. I know, right? I'd do you one better. Love how you're shaming people for taking a break and having fun to improve their day. Am I the only one who enjoys seeing adults have fun like we did with right? kids? Definitely not. I think it's fucking awesome. Let the man skip rope. Probably been sweating for eight hours in the sun already. God forbid he has one minute of fun today. <laughs> Remember when it was still okay to have 10 seconds of fun? So beautiful. Nice to see a non-toxic work environment. Absolutely. Why do people always expect government employees to be sad and miserable? Let them live. Since when is it forbidden to have a little bit of fun at work? As if they're not allowed to take a break. Yeah, you know, like, can you imagine with everything happening in the world today, making a post like this against these adult men having such innocent fucking fun? I think this is the lady that's doing it right here. She's, it seemed like a lady from what I can tell with the hair. But I'm like, I know not all construction crews are, are perfect. They're not all yeah, great, it does look you like know, a lady. but it seems it to me like that the ones wanting to screw the system are the ones who want to seem as though they're working. It appears to me that this is a crew that works fucking hard and so they know they deserve to enjoy themselves from time to time. And I'm fucking behind you guys. Tomorrow you take the bright orange spray paint you make a four square court or a hopscotch. <laughs> Let me check. Really? I could do that too. <laughs> check me out. <laughs> I 
mean, I wish I could make content like this and blow up and make millions of dollars. It'd be wonderful. But I got to put out my personality. <laughs> I got to get some charm out there going, you know? I got to put in some work. Correct. Who wants to pay its bills normal when a woman pays Tell her me, bills? Why is it, fellas, when a man pays his bills, it's normal? When a woman pays her bills, she's a queen of the jungle, independent, strong woman, will kind of forever terminate her rich. <laughs> Card. For what? You pissed me off. <laughs> Cash your card. <laughs> oh gosh. What is going on? Is you making a mullet? Why are mullets back in again? What? <laughs> <laughs> got to be one of the ugliest fucking haircuts I've ever seen, but winning comment here <laughs> Offended in the front vegan in the back Are you secretly filming me? Who are you? Oh, I Mr. Love Red? This guy. Hey, for you to know, hey. I'm the dude going to the 12th floor. They just decided today to divorce his wife after 15 years That's who the fuck I am who are you? <laughs> Why are women offended by the idea that men are better or more capable than them when they typically want to date superior men? There's no such thing as an alpha female. That doesn't exist. It's never existed. So That's why it. why are so many women walking around describing themselves as a boss bitch and a queen and a ten? Because they were brainwashed to mm. think that that's the route to take in life because they're brainwashed by Instagram uh -huh. and social media. So I did a quick search on this and interestingly enough, there are instances of female dominance uh, in mammals in nature. Female bias dominance occurs rarely in mammals. It occurs when all adult males exhibit submissive behavior to adult females in social settings. These social settings are usually related to feeding, grooming, and sleeping site priority. It is observed consistently in hyenas, lemurs, and the bonobo. So what does this That's tell us? Call them it tells us that even out there in nature, this idea of the alpha female doesn't exist. In female dominant groups, the dominance has to be given up by the males, by the males submitting. In an alpha male led group, the alpha male goes out and asserts his dominance. He takes it through physical strength or whatever. In a female dominant group, it has to be given her by the male submitting, right? So this idea of the alpha female just does not exist the way modern women want it to. The very idea of it can only exist in a safe and comfortable society like the one these women live in, given them by men where they can sit there safe and sound at home, creating a delusion that they can live in where they discount everything that men have done for them. No one wants the perfect guy. He sucks. He's a loser. He's boring. Normalize dating men that are like the worst people on the planet. You, fuck. you guys do that shit already. It's called hypergamy. That's why you guys are all ran through. That's why we call them Chad, Tyrones, and Pookies. Fucking idiot. Could you be dumber? Just remember, you point one finger, you got three pointing back at you. So check yourself before you go. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd be like Disney and you use two fingers on everything. <laughs> if I, a single woman who lives at home and 30 intruders come in, Girl, what you live in Gotham or something? You what? a Justice League level threat, ain't you? Thirty Jesus. people breaking in your house. What you do? Gun so Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Dang, Uncle Jim, that was a really good cast. Where'd you learn how to do that? Oh, thank you. Uh, that was from a year of working off in Vietnam. Cool. Good to know. Do you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Me? I take the bear 100%. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. All these what? girls are seeing the bear is better, so you know, I, I believe it as well. Like, like these girls, I don't know, they're all intelligent, right? They know so much. I don't think so. So I think, I think the smart choice would be the bear. Okay, so why the bear? A bear is so sweet. A bear wouldn't do nothing to you. You know how loving and caring a bear is? Just like Winnie the Pooh, you know? <laughs> I get it now, it's so funny. Very funny. That was very funny, guys. I wonder if there's a woman off screen he's trying to fuck. But the fucked up part is, this sounds dumb, but this is exactly how they be thinking, man. Like, they think they're gonna be running into fucking Winnie the Pooh out there. I love you, Dad.
Okay, I love you too. Yeah, mommy. All right, thank you for that. This is bullshit. Don't take pain meds. <laughs> Embrace the pain so you can finally feel something. Be a man. Mm. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> if you want to cry, cut some onions so nobody would notice that you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> best day of a man's life is the day he realizes that nobody's come to save him. If he can know that and feel peace about it and almost be excited about it because he gets to go fight his own hero's journey, he'll win. If he can accept it, he'll win. I actually agree with this. That when you realize that everything in life you're going to have to earn, you're going to have to put in the work. It's you, not anybody else you because you take entire responsibility for your life too many people give up responsibility in their life so they point the finger at somebody else take responsibility for everything regardless of whose fault it is or the market or a race or religion or who's president i don't give a fuck who's president i'm same. gonna win i'm gonna get up i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna do the same it's usually shitty either way same thing i did yesterday this is fucking legit i'm not gonna lie because a few years ago i had to restart my life from scratch everything it was discouraging. Same. I was scared as fuck. It honestly felt hopeless to have to restart from... This is why I enjoy the channels that I feature, especially Mankind and stuff. A lot of us men have gone through the ringer. And we all came out okay. And I want to show you guys that. All of us that are on here, MTR, freaking Mankind, Poor Man's Podcast, we've all gone through it too, guys. We've all been on the ditch. We've all been six feet under and had to crawl ourselves back up to just level field. And now we're doing better and we're climbing mountains. You guys can do it too. Scratch in the middle of my 30s after 15 years of, of rebuilding my life of adulthood. It was fucked, man. Yeah. I can't imagine guys out there having to restart their lives in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. You know, but look, the thing is, even though I was scared, I was also honestly excited because as corny as it sounds, I I knew that everything was possible. Because here's the thing, like you can spend all day screaming until you're blue in the face about what happened to you or about what that person did to you. But at the end of the day, you're never gonna change that person. The only per way that person changes is if they change themselves. The only person you're truly in control of changing is yourself. And when you start realizing that is when you really start taking full responsibility for the things that are happening to you. It doesn't matter what that person did to you. What were your choices? When you start thinking like this, you start to understand that, that really everything in your life is is within your control now. No, he's right. When I the divorce, I was scared. I planned my life out with a partner that I was with for a very long time. So when we got divorced, my life plans were gone. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was I needed to work hard. So I just put my head down and worked hard and then s slowly got to, to more success levels. And I, that's when I started realizing and I got more excited about it. At first I was not really excited about it because I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know how to rebuild exactly. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I needed to do better. So I just kept working and trying to find things to do better. And then when I finally got a little bit of success where people said they were proud of me people were saying oh you're doing wonderful things that's when i realized ah oh, fuck now i'm getting excited I'm, i feels like i'm doing something that other people see and notice that and agree with me that i'm not doing anything bad i'm doing something actually kind of helpful that's where it got to me there's no more pointing fingers so you start asking these self-victimizing questions like, why did this happen to me? Why do these things keep happening to me? You start asking proactive questions like, what the fuck do I need to do fuck to yeah. make sure this bullshit doesn't happen again? The minute you start taking full responsibility for your life is the minute you stop letting life push you around. Yeah. I do in fact fuck around and find out. I have in fact learned every lesson the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're ready for this? I'll do my best. Your best? Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Hell yeah! You want something? Go get it. Period. Don't 
leave anything for later because later the coffee gets cold. Later you lose interest. Later the day turns into night. Later people grow. Later people grow old. Later life goes by. Later you regret not doing something and you had a chance. So stop waiting for the perfect moment that may never come. Do it today and do it now because life is happening right now. And remember, time slips away when you least expect it. That last statement is so true. Time is slipping away. My God, how much time progresses as you get older. Now that I'm in my 30s, late 30s, I feel like years go by so quickly and it goes by so quickly i feel like i didn't accomplish anything within that year or enough things or i didn't get to do enough things this is this is the sad thing about time guys it's very limited please subscribe down below i really appreciate it catch you guys next time Ciao.